Hi, I'm Sean Rasmussen from Learn How to Blog. We've had a look at how to set up your Google Plus profile. We looked at the settings and we've looked at Google Plus engagement. Let's go and have a further look into organizing your circles. On Google Plus, if you're following a lot of people, then you're going to have a lot of stuff happening in your home stream. In this case, many, many things are going to show up in here. So let's have a look at how you organize things so that things can get filtered down to the level that interests you. For instance, here's one from Matthew. If I think that Matthew is interesting in what he does, and it certainly probably is, then I can go and hover over his name and I can add him into circles. In this case, Matthew's already in the G plus fun circle and I've also got him down as following back as well. So you only need to have him in one circle, but you can sort them in multiple circles if you like. Let's say that I want to go through and check out Matthew's profile. I can click through to it. And here I can see information about Matthew, how many times people have seen his content, so on. I can also see that he is following me back. This little image here shows me that I follow him and he follows me. So I can sort him in to different circles and that's how you categorize people. Now let's say that I caught his profile. I actually got interested in his profile by this very post. So I say, all right, this is interesting. Where did Matthew find that from? He found it here. This is where it was originally shared. Now this is someone that I do not yet follow. Let's say I go and check out Edwina's profile and I decide that I want to add Edwina to my circles and start checking out what is done there. I just simply go into add and I can then add her into a circle. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add her in to this circle here, B standard. And I've just made these circles for the purpose of this exercise now. So let's go back to my home stream and have a look at what's going on. You can see there's a lot going on, a lot of new stuff is coming up here because I've got it set for all of my circles to show up at the moment. You see there's a lot of noise going on, but a lot of interesting stuff too. Up the top you can see I've got A more, B standard, C less and customers. What is that about? If I click on this tab B standard, you'll be able to see that there's only one person in this circle, which is the Edwina Gomez circle that I created. And there is that original share. So how did I do that? I go into menu and I click on people, which is circles. And my circles are organized here. I click through to your circles. And here you can see, you can have a lot of circles. You can create new circles if you like. And in this case, this is exactly what I've done for this exercise. I've created four or five new circles. One that's called A more, one that's called B standard, one's called C less, one's just called customers, one's called my team. And then there's the standard circle that goes into all Google Plus accounts called following. So in this case, I've clicked on the following circle and these people in that circle show up. When I created a new circle, I just simply clicked plus and then I named the new circle and I clicked create empty circle. That circle is then dropped down the bottom of my circles and then I can grab a circle such as this and I can drag it into a new position if I wish like that. Now the ones I'm really interested are the first four or five because they're going to show up on my home stream. So if those are the people I'm interested in most, then those are the ones I want showing on my home stream up the top of the tabs. And I'll show you that how that works in a minute. So if you want to have thousands of people circling you on Google Plus, there are two ways to do that. Either you are a celebrity a total legend or someone that lots of people will follow without you following them back. That's one option. The other option 
which most people would opt for, is that you need to follow lots of other people for them to catch your attention. A lot of people will follow you back and a lot of people will start seeing what you're doing. And then if you follow my tips and tricks, you will get more and more people starting to follow you regardless of whether you follow them or not because what you're doing is interesting. Okay, so let's follow that second line where we're just following lots of people. We go out and find people and you saw in the previous videos about engagement of how you engage with people and how you create interest and attention in Google+. So I've created these circles, A, B, C, customers, team, and then we got the standard following tab. If I click on a circle, those people in that circle will show up up the top. In this case, my team is currently empty. When I click on following, when I'm in there, I have a look and I say, oh look, a blue head, here are some people that I know and these people I might find them interesting. If I decide that any of these people are someone that I want to see more of, I say David, yeah, David's a cool guy from the UK, I'm going to put him in the B standard circle so I can just drop him down. Now he is both in the following circle and the B standard circle. I can actually hover over his name and I can see how many circles he's in and then I can go in and I can then unclick the following and now he's in less circles. So that's up to me how I do that. So I'll get rid of that. And now he's out of the following circle and now he's in the standard circle. You can just drag people in. So let's say I'm going to take Vic and I'm going to put him in the standard circle as well. Now the idea is imagine if you're following thousands of people because you're either following them back or you're following them for some reason you found them interesting but now your home stream is getting very busy. You need to start filtering things. So we have a bit of a ladder system that we organize people. For instance, you might have very, very interesting people that you like to follow such as celebrities or industry gurus and you can create an industry guru circle. You can create a celebrity circle or an interesting people circle. My team circle can be for people that work with me. Maybe virtual assistants, personal assistant, people that I work with, contacts and so on that I do business with that could all go in my team circle. But for now what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the following circle and then we're going to start filtering people in to A, B and C. B is the standard. That's where we want to see a standard amount of their content in our home stream. A, they're the people from the following circle that we've filtered and say these guys are really good. I want to see more of their stuff in my home stream. And C are the people that we've dropped down that we may not like the content that they share. It may not agree with my views. I might just think they share too much or I may just not like what they're doing and this could be something that we eventually are going to filter out to perhaps delete them out of our circles later after we sort of had a bit of a, an assessment on that. Right, so here are the circles. Remember again, A, B, C, customers and my team. And the circle that we're going to filter people from is the following circle. Let's go back to the home stream. I'm back in the home stream now and the default tab is all, meaning that everyone in my circles show up on this stream. This stream gets very busy. There are thousands of people sharing stuff in this stream. Again, remember, lots of noise. Okay, so here are the tabs. Remember the first circles we created, A more, B standard, C less, customers, and then I've got a drop down. And when I click the drop down, it also show my team, following, and I've got the G plus fun circle, and so on, and a lot more circles too. So I'm keeping the most relevant ones at the top so that I can deal with them now for the purpose of this exercise. That saves you clicking the drop down and going into the others. So now if I just want to look at the ones in the following circle, that's it there. So let's say when you're online and you see something that you like, then you'll say, okay, cool, I will just drop them into the following circle. 
So I'll hover over the name and then I will put them into the following circle. All right, so they caught my attention. Now, these are all people I'm already following because I've got the tab up here, remember, following. So now I can have a look at people in here and then I can say, all right, well, I'm gonna do this with no prejudice whatsoever. In other words, I'm going to just filter people randomly and it's got nothing to do with what they're sharing. Let's say what Andy is doing here, I think this is great, I like this sort of stuff. I've seen him in a few different places around, so I decided Andy is plus worthy. So I just simply go to his name and then I go in the following part and I'm gonna click and put him into my standard circle and unclick following. Now Andy has been moved to my B standard circle. Then I'm gonna have a look at some other ones and let's say this one here, I might decide this is interesting too. It's in the following circle, I'm gonna move her into the standard circle. And then I'll go through and do that. Bear in mind that I'm doing this randomly now, so anything can sort of start showing up in these circles. So you can see now I've moved a few over in that way, where I've just simply hover over their name and put them into that circle. I can go back to the menu at any time and I can click into my circles and I can simply click on the following circle and I can just go like this, I can drag it open and I can just take people like this and drag them in to the circle that I want them to be in, like this. I can also just grab a group like clicking outside, holding my left mouse button down, grabbing a whole heap and dragging them all into the circle like that. As a matter of fact, what I can do if I wanted to, under actions, select all, and then I can drag the whole lot into that circle if I wanted to. But I'm not going to do that now. So you can see now I've got all these people in the following circle. And now I've got 18 people moved into the standard circle. Now we're going to go back to the home stream again. And we're going to select the B standard circle. You can see now that in this circle we have all these people. In a previous video I showed you how we can adjust the notifications and how often people show up in our stream. So in this circle we can have notifications set to off or on, meaning that we'll get notifications up on the bell in the top right. And on the settings, you can have them show in the home stream or not. And the amount they're gonna show up is standard, more or less. In this case, this is the B standard circle. So we're gonna set it for standard. While we're at it, really quick, let's go and set the A more circle, which doesn't have anyone in it yet. And we're gonna set the notifications for on because we wanna know more about these people. And we're gonna have the settings for more as well. Then we're gonna to go to the C less circle. We're gonna do the settings on that one. We also don't have any people in there. These are people we wanna know less about. So therefore we're gonna have the notifications off and the settings we're gonna have it to fewer. As a matter of fact, you might even decide that the people filtered into this are so disinteresting or you just do not like to look at what they're doing, you may even turn the notifications off altogether in your home stream. So let's go back now into the B standard circle. So can you see here, we've shortlisted 18 people so now you can just look at what these 18 people are doing. Now I'm gonna say, all right, Edwina, I'm not interested in jeans. And let's say if all she does is post about jeans, which is not the case, you can see that she's also posting some very good stuff here. But let's say I decided that this is not my cup of tea. I can simply hover over and change her to the less circle and untick the standard. Now, she will be out of this stream. She has been moved from B to C. Next time I refresh, those will not be showing up. Then I go down 
and I'll have a look at some more people. David's got a blog post about Jim Rohn. Well, I happen to know that David's an interesting guy, so therefore, we're gonna take David and we're gonna put him into the A more circle and we take him out of the standard. And meanwhile, I've also got him in other circles as well, which he will be staying in. Now, what does that mean? It means that now I can go up the top, I can click on the A more, and now I've got David in this circle and it's gonna show me what David's been up to. Now I can go through and check his stuff out. Let's say David is a, an industry expert on something, then this is a great way for me to follow what he's doing in a lot more detail and having filtered him through. So the idea is that we've got one circle where the settings, where notifications are on, so that when David does something new, this bell, when I click on it, the notifications will show up. And then I can check those notifications, I can click through to them, and I can delete them if I wish. The idea is to not have too many notifications happening. If you've got too much notifications happening, then it just gets messy. Then we've got the B standard circle. And in there, this is where we basically will filter people in over time, we check them out, that's the first post, so to speak, and then after a while, we filter them either into more or less. Remember, I can also just go to the circles, direct, I can click on the circle that I wanna deal with, and I can take people, and I can put them into the circles where I would want them to be. Bear in mind that people can be in multiple circles. So when you then hover over someone, let's say I put David into that one. Oops, it just moved, I move him into there, there, and there. Now when I hover over David, it's gonna show that he's in multiple circles. So then I can go and say, oops, he's in less. That was not the idea, he's also in standard. That was not the idea, I just want them in the more circle. So let me run another example of this. I'm gonna to go to my home stream. Anything's gonna show up here because it's gonna show everyone in my circle. So this can be quite dangerous. You following people, you may see things that you don't agree with or don't like or whatever, well, that might upset you. That's life, that, that's what happens when you're in the real world. But let's say I'll go through here and I say, oh, right, you know what? I'm gonna go and find some total strangers. I'm gonna click on the what's hot button. And they're gonna be people in here that I do not have in my circles that I do not follow. Then I go and have a look through here and I can find, oh, look, Tom, founder of MySpace, I think it is. All right, so we go to Tom. I've actually got him in my circles already. Let me find someone else. Emily Grace, this looks good, right? So I hover over there, I say, hey, look, she's not in my circles. I can just follow her or I can whack her into the B standard circle. And now when I go up to the top, go back to home and click the B standard circle, you will see that Emily Grace is now there. Now after a while, I'm gonna work out whether or not Emily Grace is worth seeing more or less of. And if that's the case, if it's less, I hover over, I put her in the less circle, or more, she goes in the more circle. And that gives you the opportunity to filter things over time. And after a while, if you jump on Google Plus once a day, and you find that you just wanna spend five minutes on there, well, then you just look in the important tabs that you're interested in. You may just want to check on your team. You click the team circle. You may want to just stay in touch with your customers. You click the customer circle, or the interesting people circle, or the standard circle. Whatever you've got time for and feel like at the time. Another thing that's worth looking into as far as what goes on your home stream when we're talking about notifications is when you're in a community. Let me go and have a look at communities. Through the menu, click on communities. 
And let's go to Game of Thrones Circle. 52,785 members. This could be quite busy, right? What you would probably prefer is to not have your notifications filled up with Game of Thrones notifications from 52,000 members. So therefore, you click notifications off and your settings, whether or not you want it to show in your home stream or not. And if it shows in your home stream, how much does it show in your home stream? And this will go under the All tab. So when, if you're in the B circle or the A circle or the C circle, none of these will show up. It only shows up in the A tab. So if you're joining lots of communities and you're going to certain communities on certain days, then you just don't show them in the home stream. I suggest you have them show up in the home stream, but just have them maybe set for standard or fewer, depending on how interested you are in that particular community. But definitely have your notifications off. The only time I suggest you have your notifications on is if it's your community or you're moderating a community. So in my case, I moderate the blog world community, so I've got my notifications on. And in the settings, show in home stream more. Because obviously I'm moderating in there, so I want to know what's going on. I've got to jump in there and keep an eye on it. As you can see, circles are a great way to filter and categorize what you're interested in and what you want to know about. You could, for instance, have a circle which is just for businesses because people can have a personal profile and a business profile. So maybe you just put businesses in one circle. You can have fun in another circle. You have animals in a third one, business prospects in another one. But the important part for you to save time on Google Plus and have more fun with what you're doing is to have some sort of filtering ladder system where you put everyone in to one category when you don't know who they are, what they're doing, and as they catch your attention, you filter them in to a different one, and then this ladder, you either go up or down, depending on whether you want to know about these guys more or less. There's plenty more fun and things to learn about circles, engagement, and Google+. And we're going to go into that on future videos. I'm Sean Rasmussen from Learn How to Blog. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again in another video.